Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Monday, the 20th of May, 2024. Just doing a real estate tap in with you for today. So a couple of things. Um, there was a loan sale with Fannie Mae. So this means that some banks that are pulling together some of their non-performing and re-performing assets, meaning that some of the assets that have gone bad, which are non-performing, uh, they're pooling together and selling into the secondary market. And then some of the uh, loans that they have started to get repaying, which is re-performing, um, they're pooling those together as well. And I'll attach a link uh, to, to the Fannie Mae website where you'll see their press release. But the thing that caught me was that there are three different pools. It's about 6,500 loans and they just had the winning bid. Uh, I think it was right before the weekend. Um, and it's expected to close in June. But what you'll see on there is that they're paying about 32% of value of the BPO value for these loans and why that's so interesting is because what happens is is that once they get this 6,500 a uh, pool of, of loans they're gonna go through them and they're not gonna want everything and so because they're buying at about 30 30 cents on a dollar the ones that they don't want, the things that they don't want to be bothered with, they can sell off to smaller investors like yourself, like me, at 40, 45 cents on a dollar, maybe even 50 cents on a dollar, and still make a good profit because they're only buying it at 32 uh, cents on a dollar, around, you know, 30 cents on a dollar. So um, this is what is out there. This is what is going to be coming. Um, you'll start to see more of this. This was the 31st loan sale that they've had. Now this goes back, you know, a number of years, but they've had 30 of these sales. Um, and like I said, because of where things are, a lot of people are having issues making payments. You're going to see more of this. So that was one thing that really caught my eye. The other thing is that I'll attach a link to is that guy is a really big investor I forget his name off the top of my head but um, you know he's african-american guy really big in uh, real estate he says that now is the best time for private money to come into the market and this is what I've been trying to get people to realize is that you know there's a lot of opportunity on the real estate side for private money you can get you know really good interest on your money because we're in a high interest rate environment you know, even maybe if you come in a little bit low than, than what is already out there, you're still getting a, a very good interest rate, possibly on money that is just sitting somewhere. So uh, if you, someone you know, family member, friend, if you have money somewhere and it's not getting a high rate of interest, you need to look at real estate as an opportunity right now. There are a lot of people that can use the money, me included, uh, to put to work for you safely and securely, you know, backed by real estate. So everything will, you know, you'll get a, a promissory note, uh, you'll have a security agreement. So with all the documentation, you know, the money uh, will be attached to a property. So, you know, you'll make sure that you can recoup your initial investment. But what is needed in this market right now is private money. Banks are pulling back because of all the things that are going on on the commercial side and, you know, the stress in the banking system right now, they're pulling back. And so the people that take the, the opportunity to put their money, you know, whether it's you as an individual or maybe it's three or four of you come together, everybody puts in a certain amount, you know, based on whatever deal you're going in, everybody in that particular group is going to get you know XYZ uh, in terms of a monthly return or quarterly return on it but we have to take advantage you know of these opportunities right now uh, in the market 
There are deals everywhere. There's, you know, subject to deals, um, possibly fix and flip deals. So it's just a good time for private money looking to, to go to work and to, to make a higher rate of interest to come into the real estate market. So if you're somebody that wants to talk about these opportunities that are out there, you know, comment on the video. Let's talk and uh, see if we can you know, start a relationship, start a partnership or something like that to um, take advantage of those opportunities out there. So, um, and another thing, just really quickly, there's a $10 million real estate fund, commercial real estate fund <laughs> that's on the verge of collapsing. I'll attach that article as well. If you wanna take a look at it, Starwood Partners, they're really big with like um, hotels and different things like that. So, um, you know, the people see, the people that contributed to this fund see the issues that are going on in commercial and they want their money. But Starwood is not honoring everyone's request to get their money out because they don't have the money. Now, where the money went, what happened, don't know. Not making any assumptions about that, but there are people that are calling this particular company looking for their money and can't get it. Um, and that's a problem. And that's probably not the only fun like that. So that may be something that you'll see as well. So, all right, everyone, have a great one. I will talk to you soon. Like I said, please reach out, please comment if you wanna you know, talk about some of these opportunities that are out there. Have a good one.